Hey everybody, we've had some questions about Vive XR Elite from the community that we'd like to address today. Let's get right into it. This question asks, I wanna use headphones with Vive XR Elite. How can I do that? This is something that I've been exploring. The USB-C port in the battery cradle can be used for USB audio as well as power. So it's easy to use a 3.5 millimeter adapter with a digital to analog converter for wired headphones. This user asks, what kind of processor does Vive XR Elite have versus the other all-in-one headsets? With the Vive XR Elite, we chose to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 rather than the XR2 Plus. Really, the only difference between the two is the way they're positioned. In the XR2, it's a vertical stack. In the XR2 Plus, those chips are side by side, which is helpful for heat dissipation and reducing the chance of thermal throttling, but the performance is still nearly identical to the XR2. While other manufacturers might need to use the XR2 Plus to avoid thermal throttling, with the Vive XR Elite, we didn't see any significant improvements by moving to this chip set, which is due to the many years of experience in active cooling gained by our journey with HTC smartphones. Next question asks, I sometimes feel pressure on my forehead when I'm wearing my Vive XR Elite. Can I do anything about this? Absolutely. We've included a top strap which you can use to help shift the weight on your head. Vive XR Elite was designed to be as accessible as possible, so we tried to accommodate thousands of face and head shapes. And with inclusivity in mind, we designed the top strap to be optional, allowing people with all hairstyles to easily and comfortably use Vive XR Elite. This question asks, what's the quickest way to interact with the real world while still wearing the headset? To interact with the real world, you can activate our pass-through function. There are a few ways to do this. The first way is you can press the power button twice on the top of the headset, or you can double press the vibe button on your right controller. This enables the full color RGB pass-through, no matter which experience you're in. Then you can do whatever you need to do. You can read an email, you can get some water, then just double press that button again, and you're ready to get back into your XR experience. Next question. Is the depth sensor enabled for the Vive XR Elite? Yes. Currently it's available for developers and we're putting it through the final stages of its public beta. And we'll have some news on that very soon. This user asks, I wanna use glasses mode when playing PC VR games, but the screen goes darker? What's going on? What is happening is your headset is not receiving enough power to display full brightness. If you're using a power adapter to power your headset, make sure you're using at least a 30 watt power adapter. Anything weaker will result in a dim screen. If you're powering your headset with a USB port on your PC or laptop, be sure you're using the port that provides the most power output. Not every port on your computer provides the same amount of power, which could lead to a weak power supply. If you're unsure of the power carrying capacity of your USB-C cable, double check that the cable is capable of quick charge or USB power delivery. That's it for today, but stay tuned on our Discord and other social channels to hear all the latest news. We'll have regular software updates for the Vive XR Elite. We're targeting monthly updates, so we'll be back soon. Peace.